What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Mario Party. In the last episode, we finished up Wario's Battle Canyon, and actually, uh, we're victorious, which is nice to see. This time, we're going to be playing as Luigi as we head into the last board. Now, the only characters that have not been on uh, four boards, four participating boards, Yoshi and Wario are done. Their adventure here is all complete. We're going to go with Mario, Peach, and Donkey Kong. So two of our opponents from last time. Well, I guess that makes sense. It's kind of hard not to do that. And then we're also adding Mario to the mix. So let's do this thing. Yoshi never won anything on this entire run through. Poor Yoshi. All right. We're doing Luigi's Engine Room, which is supposed to be the hardest board in the entire game. Here we go. This is where the Dicketry gets ramped up to absolute max. But hopefully Lui the Luigi luck will prevail. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very, very scared with this one. I think it's interesting that in this, uh, like a mechanical place like this, is Luigi's place. And I don't really, I guess contextually, it, it sort of makes more sense now. This looks like the sewers from the Mario Brothers movie. Not even gonna lie. Welcome, everybody. I am your guide, Koopa Troopa. This is the engine room. The engine in the center ha won't, hasn't enough energy and it won't move at all. We must search for energy and get the engine moving. I wonder what will happen when it starts moving again. Where that fake inventor Bowser causing trouble for people is what he lives for. Now let's search inside the turn order. All right, we were last two boards ago, and the, the other time we were first. Now we're third. All right. Everyone got high rolls on that one. So here we go. So I was basically given every single turn order twice, except for second, I think. Yeah, I think second was the only one I never got. Tw well, actually, no, that's not possible because there's only a six board. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not going to make that call out here. But let's begin. All right, Peach, all you. Right past Koopa Troopa you go. Little roll. This is going to be an interesting board. I have no idea how this one works. I'm sure the star is going to still be jumping around a lot. This one seems a little bit more standardized, though. A lot more back to, like, Deco's Jungle Adventure, but I'm sure that things are going to get a lot more iffy here. I actually started off with a high roll for once. All right, let's take a look and see what our options are here. So we got these, like, gates from the looks of it. Um, the star is over there, which it looks like that's a long way to go to get there. Um... I am not going to take my chances with the mushroom, so I'm just not even going to bother. Let's just go this way. Get some free coins. Tie everybody for the lead, because, yeah, I do. the last thing I want is to get a poison mushroom on turn frickin' one. But maybe we'll actually get some good rolls this time and stay ahead of everybody. All right, Shy Guy Says. Good starter game. Wasn't that the first one last time, too? I think it was. This seems to happen a lot. Like I said, we get this on every freaking board we do. If, uh, if not once, at least multiple times. So here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I fat fingered it. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. <laughs> wow, I actually lost it for once. Uh, Mario got cut away too, at least. But yeah, well, I guess we'll see if DK or Peach wins. I can't believe I lost it this one. That's that's does not bode well for the remainder of this board that I'm losing at such an easy mini game. Oh my goodness! And Peach is the winner. Okay, bad start. I love I love Donkey Kong's futile attempts to paddle away with the flags as he's getting <laughs> as he is sent away. That's amazing. Oh man, that is not a good start. Okay, let's try to do a little bit better here. And the, oh, and it switches the doors on every turn. Interesting. So if I can continue to get high rolls, that's a good thing for me. Uh, she's going this way. Oh, single-player minigame. How about no, Peach? How about no shell game? Now, this one I can do. I can do this one better than the Boo one at any given time, because this one's not all that hard to follow. But I know not everybody is great at it, and it's only for 10 coins. But I guess we'll, you know, we'll participate along with Peach, since, you know, we do have to watch it. So here we go. Yeah, sorry in 64 games, you kind of ain't shit at doing these little random randomizer things. You're not... The animations aren't fast enough and, and scary enough. Anyway, it, Peach, bottom right. Bottom right. Bottom right, you did it. Good job. And there we go. Finish. Yeah, those aren't so bad. There's some randomizer ones that I think come in some of the later Mario parties that are a lot more difficult, but that one's not too bad. All right, Peach has a really big lead right off the bat here. Okay, Donkey Kong's turn. And is he going to get a big roll? Nope, not too bad. 
Okay, is that going to allow us an option of which way we want to go here? Uh, it is. But Donkey Kong might get there first. Okay, I'm going to bank on the fact that I am going to win the next minigame, hopefully, as the doors flip on the next turn. So, ho here we go. Oh, Mar is Mario going to catch us? He is. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I have to beat both Mario and Donkey Kong on the next one. But, well, I don't have to worry about Mario too much because I am going first, but I got to win this. I have to win this. So here we go, bumper balls. I gotta bring my A game here. If I lose this, I'm in trouble. I, it'd be the first time, I mean, well, I guess I technically got a, was actually able to get a proper star last time, but. All right, gotta make, I almost forgot who I was for a second there. Goodbye, Peach. Goodbye, Donkey Kong. Get Mario out of here. Thank you. And there we go, we won. Not bad at all. So that should be enough to get me the star. Doors should shift on this next turn, which will block Donkey Kong from coming this way. And also Peach, so that's good. That's a that's an interesting start. All right, Peach, all you. Just a little roll. What does that do exactly? Is that, oh, does that allow us to toll the doors? Move them, oh no, he has to spend 20 coins to do it. So yeah, probably not the a right idea. That's okay, they'll be open back up next turn. Although we don't know where the star is going to move on the next turn anyway, so. Off you go, Donkey Kong. Ooh, just missed those happening spaces. I don't know what those would actually do. This entire board is a mystery to me. Okay, I can't. I just can't get a one. Thank you. I'm actually getting blessed with good rolls this time. And there it is. First star on the board. I will take it. Again, I'm hoping that Luigi luck will prevail as I go through here. So where is the next one at? And it is probably on the... Oh, it's actually down below us. Oh, it's like right in front of us, too. But that is the blue and all, all depends on the blue and the red doors again. Um, I am at Bowser, which is scary. Bowser King invention, let me show you my invention, but no, I'm not in the mood. I know, I'll take six coins from you. Oh, he's just going to take the rest, basically. Well, dang it. That sucks. Uh, and I'm going to go right past this star, which I can't even afford. That's amazing that it was that close. Mario is almost assuredly going to get to that one. And then we got a pipe, which I'm assuming that's going to take us back to the beginning? Probably? All right, Mario, are you going to lose all your coins here? It's interesting that Bowser is directly in front. Oh, yeah, wow. So he's taking more than than 20, or 20 or more every single time. That's rough. Oh, and that just switched the doors. Okay, cool. Interesting. So now he can only go down on the next. Well, it's going to switch back on the next turn, though. Crane game. All right. Well, he's not going to go for me because I have no coins. He's almost assuredly going to go for the treasure chest this time. So just do it, Mario. And that I obviously can't stop him from getting. Go for the treasure chest. Don't be dumb. Don't go for anybody else. There you go. What? What? He's going. Oh, he's going for Peach. Well, this will be interesting. Let's see. That, wow, uh, the aliasing on Peach there was really uh, strange. I don't know what that was all about. Peach, are you going to be able to get out of there? Or has he got you? He got you. Oh, you blew it. Finish. That's a lot of coins. That's 12 whole coins for Mario. Yeah, I guess that is better than the treasure chest. That's why he did it. I mean, I would definitely be down for going after them in those particular instances. But I didn't know. I, I thought I didn't give that many when you, when you grabbed them. But whatever. All right, Peach. Wow, she is, she has been cursed with my previous luck of terrible rolls. Goodness, there you go, Donkey Kong. That's actually something. Oh, that just put you in a circle, didn't it? Ooh, okay. All right, well, there is an okay roll. That's at least going to put us back at the start. No, where is this going to take me? Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I'll take Boo. All right, I'm going to definitely go for Peach because she still has the most. Come on, get me something good. Get me a fair amount. I could use more than like five. I'll take it. That'll do. That was like 10. So not bad. And then we should also get another 10 from Koopa Troopa on the next turn, which puts me in prime position. Mario does not have enough for the star, so he's going through the pipe. Although that does mean that he is going to be getting to Boo, which is also probably still a good thing. Although, uh, I was hoping he'd... I want him to steal from DK, but... He's going to lose some coins here, but he's probably going to steal from me on the next turn if I win this minigame. Granted, it is a 1v3. Don't be bull over. <sighs> I'm so... Dude, the 1v3 games are so just messed up. <laughs> they are. They really are. Every single one of them. It's not even like... Most of these 1v3 games don't feel like... 
you're really versing each other. It's more just how can the one win in this situation? I, I, I can't move here. Come on. Oh, I am very stuck. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. I got lucky. So he didn't hit any of us. See, that seemed like really close that time, but I could have sworn the last time I played Bull Over, I, it wasn't anywhere near me, and it still got me. So Mario is almost surely going to take coins from... Well, maybe actually, I guess he won't take them from me, which is good. Well, no, he will, because I'll, I'll get through the 10 coins on this next part. Going off that way, Peach. Yes, you are. Although you are going to go to Bowser and also a red space, which means you, too, will not have enough coins. So how do we get Bowser in the mood to show off his invention exactly? I don't know how that works. Peach ain't got nothing right now. What does this do? Uh, okay. I was not expecting that. Interesting. So that just sends him over. And then we just get a one. You know what? I'm kind of okay with that. I want to accrue a lot more coins before I get over there just in case Bowser steals them all. Because how else is anybody ever going to get that star? You know what I mean? All right, Mario. Yeah, just take some coins from me, you dick. Dang it. Here it is. I was really hoping like for like a split second there that he would steal from DK, but why would he? Let's be honest. So I'm probably going to lose 10 right back. Nine. Eh, that's okay. I guess I, I guess that's all right with me, although Mario's going to get 10 more. That makes him the coin leader, plus the three. And then we got a 1v3. All right, I think this is the last one of the board. It's another crane game. Can we stop getting these 1v3s, man? Like, I beg of you. He's probably going to go after me on this one. Me or Donkey Kong. I honestly don't know which. Oh, it's Peach. Okay, so she's definitely going to go after Mario. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention. I thought it was Mario that was the one. Uh, no, she's going after the treasure chest. Okay. I mean, that's the safest bet. I guess she doesn't think she can win the button mash battle. I mean, you still do need to button mash a little bit, I think, to hold on. But, again, I don't know if it actually has that, if it's that much of a difference maker. Why would you ever go for the singular coin? That just seems like the biggest waste of time to me. Like, why is it even an option? I guess just to kind of get in your way when you go down to grab things. But, all right. What turn are we on? Let's, let's see. All right, I think we are well past. In fact... Yep, we're on turn six, so that's going to be it for this episode. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Mario Party. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.